Okay, so money management. It, you got to think about this for a while because if you don't, you're just kind of guessing. If you take a short here and your stops here, so let's say that's 80 cents, and you want your max loss to be 100, let's say you just take 100 shares and you want your max loss to be $100. All right, so if you got an 80 cent stop, you can just stick with that or you can bump it up a little to 120 shares if you're not worried about it, 150 shares. Obviously, you wouldn't have any problem with this trade here. Okay, but if you get something like um, this trade here, and let's just say you're going to go long right here, 180. And your stop's going to be under here, 178.80. So now you got a $1.20 stop. Um, you've got to adjust your share size. Otherwise, you're never going to make any money. I mean, that's not a big difference there, but I mean, if you get a, if you're taking three trades with a 20 cent stop, then all of a sudden you take a trade with a dollar twenty stop and it loses. You just wasted your first three winners. So you've got to. You can't keep your stops even. You got to control what you could control. You can't keep your stops at a set amount. Well, you can keep them at a set amount by adjusting your share size. And so you've got to quickly figure that out every time you want to do it. So you look. It's a dollar twenty. All right, I'm going to go about eighty shares instead of a hundred. Um, you look and it's, uh, let's see what this Facebook. This is one I actually took here. 277.50. All right, so at a 70 cent stop there, even though I only took 100 shares, I could have taken 120, 130 shares. I didn't trust it that much because of this big candle, but, or I could have just added over here another 20, 30 shares. But if you don't adjust that, that's exactly what's going to happen. So you'll get, let's say you get three wins with a, and it depends, you, see, that's another thing you can't control. You don't know how big your win's going to be. You can try for the win up here, but you don't know. It could have just stopped right here and then stopped me out. Only thing you could control is the amount of your stops. You can't control the amount of your wins. You can't control anything else that I can think of. Only the amount of your stops is the only thing in your control. So that's what you got to control. And you do that by um, increasing or reducing share size. Now, I guess when your account gets bigger, like on TradeNet, Mayor Brock and the, those guys, they a lot of the bigger traders, they always trade the same amount of share. Like he almost always trades 4,000 shares unless he's doubling or tripling up. So... Evidently, he's either got another money management system or it doesn't matter too much with him. But um, I would think, and if he's, because I've seen him trade 4,000 shares with, I mean, no, he reduces it sometimes. Like he'll say, oh, I got a $7 stop. I'm only going to take 500 shares or 1,000 shares. But a lot of times he'll trade 4,000 shares on a dollar stop or $2 stop or 50 cent stop. He'll just still, still trade 4,000 shares. But obviously, you've got to, adjust your share size so the only thing you can control is the size of your stop out so that's what you want to control everything else is just probability and risk so that's what money management is all about for me if anybody knows a better way let me know